Good morning. I want to read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 2. This is verses 1 through 5. It says, When I, Paul, first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I didn't use lofty words and impressive wisdom to tell you God's secret plan. For I decided that while I was with you, I would forget everything except Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. I came to you in weakness, timid, and trembling, and my message and my preaching were very plain. Rather than using clever and persuasive speeches, I relied only on the power of the Holy Spirit. I did this so you would trust not in human wisdom, but in the power of God. You know, there's a fine line that preachers, teachers, evangelists must walk when sharing the gospel, when, when teaching, when preaching. Um, often in our attempt to engage with our audience, we can fall into the trap of trying to be too entertaining. So we look for one too many jokes or illustrations or stories at the expense of the straightforward presentation of God's word and a study of his word. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating that preachers and teachers and evangelists do away with illustrations since Jesus used these as a primary means of communicating his message. Like when he gave the parable of the sower. A farmer went out to sow his seed. And we know how the story goes. He took some seed and he scattered it on the path, the rocky soil, the thorns, and on the good soil. And he told this parable and it was an illustration of the message, the point of his message, that we should be going and, and sharing the gospel wherever we go. Um, he started off the parable of the prodigal son. A man had two sons. The younger said to his father, give me my portion of the inheritance. And that parable of the prodigal son was used to illustrate uh, a point about the patience of the father and waiting for his younger son and his older son to come around. Um, you know, as we see those things, it's, it's a reminder that Jesus does use that. However, for us, for preachers, teachers, and evangelists, uh, people will not be won to Christ because I or anyone else is such a clever orator. And if they are, then there's something wrong with that conversion. People will be won to Christ by the work of the Holy Spirit as the Father draws them. So, our goal is to share Christ and allow the Holy Spirit to draw people to him. Pray with me. God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the way that you teach us through your word. And as we share your word, remind us that we don't have to add a bunch of things to your word to make it more palatable, to make it more understandable. Lord, you tell us that the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. As we commit ourselves to studying your word, we know God that you will help us to grasp the truth of your word through your spirit. We pray your blessing on our day and ask that you would watch over us as we seek to share your love with those around us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends, good to have you with us today. We'll see you tomorrow.